What's going on guys? It's been a little while since I picked up this camera, but today is finally going to be the day that I do the first modification to the Mark V GTI. So since you guys seen this video, um, sorry, since you guys seen this car last, um, I've done some little bits, um, which is, so what I have done is I've changed the number plate lights underneath here to the LED ones as well as because the radio does not come with Bluetooth I've also got a little um, Bluetooth receiver which hooks up to your radio in the boot so that's out of the way and yeah so what we're going to be doing today <sighs> So what we're going to be doing today is basically this center interior light. Uh, the switch is very, um, yeah, so that I have to like hold it in. Yeah, it's buggered. So what I did do is I went onto eBay and this whole section was on eBay for a fiver. Um, <laughs> so yeah, I've only gone and got it. So I don't actually need that part as far as I know. I just need this bit um, and the switch is perfectly fine on this as well so it's all tested it's all good to go I'll show you guys here see that yeah it's mint so um, I think I'm gonna change the this little um, lens with the one I already got because there's a little bit of a crack here I oh, know it's not it's how it's gonna be but it looks a bit more um, not as see for it as mine yeah anyway we'll um, go ahead and get this one off now, I have taken this off before because I did change the lights to LED which I'm also going to be changing because this center one as you can see is just a normal bulb and the reason for that is because this little bit oh okay so this little bit here broke on my one um, so as well as as well as the switch being broken that is also a good thing and that's the reason why i got it so yeah i'm gonna go ahead and get this bit off um i think let's just pull this down here oh there you go and then this comes out and then i believe it's just two torque screws here take them out then this whole thing drops down and then we're going to go ahead and get an led bulb so we can replace this one that's in here and put them LED bulbs in the one down there and then we should be good. Okay, so I've got a screwdriver that torques even here. So I'll just undo these two bolts, two little screws. Okay, so first things first is turn these little bulbs off. Unplug it. Okay, so here we go. Ah, oh, so there's already a little bit of a difference here. And that is, hopefully, that's, yeah, that's the same colour. So it just looks like just the inside of these, one's black, one's, one's white. And everything else looks identical, except for these little bits, which might even be something that mine was missing. So... Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and quickly change these bulbs over and then I'll come back to you. Okay, so I've just um, had to empty out all these little bulbs that I have in the garage. Um, obviously some of them don't work because they've just probably been bashed around for so long. But I finally found all three, they work perfectly fine. 
So let's happy days and go ahead and put this back in. Um, oh, it looks like, yes, yeah, so I've still got this uh, little cover on, so I need to get that out. So I'll put the screws inside this top bit. But otherwise, we should be all good. So I'll go ahead and quickly whack this back in there. Okay, so I've just gone ahead and got the panel back in. Um, and yeah, it's so much better. I've already pressed the switch, just look at that. Oh yeah, perfect. That's so much better than what it was before. And now I've got a little LED in the middle. So if I open and close this door. Oh, the ignition. Oh, okay, so this it is still flickering a little bit. Waiting for powering. Oh, okay. <laughs> Oh no, it's okay, perfect, look at that. Oh right, okay, so on camera, on camera it actually looks like it's flickering, but it's not actually flickering. So yeah, it's just the camera doing that. Um, but um, yeah, so that's done. So we're gonna go ahead and move on to the next thing right now. Okay, so for the next modification that I'm gonna be doing to the GTI, is I've got some basically gloss black paint, uh, plastic primer, and some clear lacquer. So I'm going to be painting this little fog light panel gloss black. Um, this I'm gonna be replacing, this is on eBay for like 30 pounds. It's just a front bumper, well, front grill sort of thing. Um, this little bottom bit I'm gonna be replacing as well. Um, which is on eBay for a tenner. And I'm also gonna be spraying this today. So when that bottom grill comes in, I'm gonna be spraying that um, gloss black as well as spraying this top one gloss black as well. Um, only reason I'm replacing them is because both of these have marks on. And if I can get them for under 50 pounds on eBay brand new, why not? Um, so yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and get these off. Um, if you guys are doing this, it is literally, the easiest thing in the world when I find where the little screw is here so there's a screw basically right next to the bumper um, in there which is a Torx I believe probably about a Torx 20 um, take that out then you just pull it out it just clips clips in there um, and then it comes out um, so I'm gonna go ahead and get them out quickly and then give them a quick detail and um, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and start spraying them up. Okay, so I've just uh, got them off the car. Um, it was not a Torx 20 at all, it's actually a little Phillips. Um, so basically you can do this with just the, the actual toolkit that actually comes with the car. Um, so um, I've got the trusty stand, which I always use to spray stuff on, which you can probably see, it's got a mixture of red and black on there. Um, I can't remember what the red was for, but anyway. Uh, so I've just given them a quick wipe over with um, some quick detailer and a microfiber cloth. So I'm just gonna go ahead and let them dry in the sun quickly. And it is also an amazing day outside, um, which is good. And that's why we're starting nice and early. I think it's like 10 o'clock in the morning right now, um, because I think it might be raining in the afternoon, but I'm not 100% sure yet. So um, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and start shaking up the cans and then hopefully soon, we'll go ahead and start putting the primer on. Okay lads, so I've actually managed to make a sort of setup here where it's hanging from the top rail here um, on two bungee cords, um, which is actually all right. I mean, obviously I've unhooked it to the actual panel itself, which is fine, I'll just um, spray around it and then move that later on or something. Um, same with this one. I've already actually put the primer on. It looks like it might be like a bit of a see-through primer because um, it's not actually not actually see it. So um, yeah, I think I'm just gonna go ahead and let that dry, and then from we can go ahead and put the gloss black spray paint on. So um, yeah. Okay, so I've just shaken this little can for about. 10, 15 minutes, and these are pretty much dry now. So I'm gonna go ahead and start spraying them. First coat, obviously. Um, I'm not gonna go too close, I'm just gonna do it from a little bit of a far distance. I'm not trying to make this look shit. Here we go.
Right, there we go, that's the one. Start on this one. Cool. Okay, so that's the first coat. I'm gonna go ahead and let that dry, and then I'll go ahead and come back to you when I've done like the second or third coat, because I know you guys don't want to see that over and over again. So um, yeah, I'll let you know when I'm done. Okay, lads, so I've just finished off the last coat on these little fog light covers, um, and already you can sort of see how glossy they are, which is absolutely brilliant, because that's exactly what I want. Um, and then, like I said, I'm going to go ahead and do the bottom one and top one when I get them in the post. So, um, other than that, I'm just going to go ahead and wait, um, let these dry for a little bit more. Uh, the sun has gone, is going in, so I do have to pick up a little bit. Um, yeah, as you can see, the Audi is just in the background now, just sort of been sitting inside of it while, uh, while these have been drying. Um, about the Audi on that topic, it is um, up for sale. Um, somebody has come and seen it yesterday, um, but hasn't offered me the asking price, uh, which is a bit disappointing, but hey ho. Um, and what I might be doing in the future is just, um, what I might be doing in the future is just because the amount of people that have been offering me um, a lot less money that I'm asking for, I'm asking for like seven, seven and a half, um, but the people have been offering me around well somebody offered me six yesterday um so i might be taking some little bits and bobs off that car to put on the golf because for example the coilovers that are on the audi fit on the golf the, like dash cam the, the um hid kit you know like those sort of things um but i'm tr not trying to get too much out of that i mean it is remapped um so I don't really want to take that off. I just want to sort of keep it at a, you know, a um, respectable rate. I don't want to start putting it all the way back to standard, but I'd like to take some of the expensive bits off it to put on this so it can decrease the value um, to an extent where I'm okay with taking six and a half, six grand for it. Um, but um, yeah, anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and wait for these to dry and then I'll come back when I'm putting the lacquer on. Alright lads, so I've just uh, finished packing everything up, um, I have just been putting on the lacquer, um, so I've done a couple of coats with the lacquer, I'm going to go ahead let that quickly dry, and then I'm going to go ahead and get them back on the car, so I'll get back to you guys when I've got them back on the car, but as you can see, they have come out really nice, so um, yeah I'm happy with them, um, just excited to get the rest of it done really. And then we'll have a nice glossy front of the car. So yeah. All right, lads. So I've just got the grills back on the car, and you can really see how like glossy this one is compared to the matte finish that the standard ones have, which is um, yeah. I mean, they look really good, and I think I don't think they could have come out any better, to be honest. Um. So um, yeah, I mean. There are some little dust particles I can see inside the little um, bits, but I guess there's not really a lot I can do about that considering where I am. Um, so, uh, yeah, I mean, I'm pretty happy with them. You saw it better than what they were. So, yeah, and like, like I said, next one will definitely be this gr grill, but obviously I'll get it brand new. Um, same with this bottom piece. And then it'll be all gloss, and then um, from there, we'll go ahead and get the Xeron headlights and then I reckon the front end will look really good we we'll have to get we we'll definitely have to get a little split on that as well um, so I'll definitely have to have a look and see what splits I can get for this but yeah 
So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, if you guys want to see any more on this little GTI or of whatever I decide to do a video on, either the Golf or the Audi, um, yeah, make sure you subscribe down below, comment and like this video if you enjoyed it or felt like it was helpful if you guys were to do the same thing. Um, so yeah, I'll go ahead and see you guys in the next one.